Okay there YouTube, I wanted to update my video on the newest Go Box for CB Radio. Um, just throwing this all together for a minute just to see if I like this the way it's set up. I mounted my radio up top. All of it's pretty much mounted with zip ties. I know it looks a little messy in there, but I didn't want to cut the wires until I know I like it this way. So I basically just, you know, zip tied the bracket up there. Holds the radio up nice. I zip tied the power supply in. I wanted this so that I can just grab this and either deploy it out on a picnic table or just outside in general. And all I gotta do is basically give it power. So I've got a laptop uh, inverter power supply. They work great, at least this one does. It doesn't give no hum, no background, no feedback, no RF, nothing. Works very good. Uh, the little Bose outdoor speaker, I like it. It's got a lot of clarity to it. Um, seems to work really well. It does take up a lot of room. I may go back with a regular extension speaker, but I do like the clarity, and if you gotta crank it up, it works really well. It works really good. Um, so there's that, and I gotta just put a clip to hold that microphone up there. And then I mounted that with a zip tie also. It's just gonna be for the SWR Wilson no ground plane, easy tune, quick tune antenna in one of my other videos. If you want to see that, you can just click back on my other video. It's going to bolt right there where the other antenna is on. Uh, so I just wanted to give a quick update. I put a cigarette lighter plug up in there in case I want to try a different radio or, uh, you know, test out another radio or just throw another radio on top of this case right here and plug it in. That way I can do that. Uh, the meter, I'm not for sure if I'm going to just mount it up top or I'm going to try to hang it inside here. It's getting kind of tight. And uh, when I had something in there, it was giving off some RF. So I may just uh, zip tie it right there. Uh, like I said, it's just an idea, quick and easy. The crate cost me about $9 at Home Depot. Uh, they're made in Canada. Uh, pretty Seemed like pretty good quality. And it's just a quick way to make a go box so you can just... Now I have to carry all this in the bins and stuff. I don't like that too much. So I wanted to let everybody see what I'm doing here. And it may go into the uh, communications trailer. I may switch it out and we'll go from there. Thanks for watching.